Count, oh no, you've already started, haven't you? No. All right, okay, I'm just gonna have to continue now, aren't I? So a capacitive dropper. If you have a AC supply, oh, say for instance, live and neutral, uh, and you put a capacitor across that, then what actually happens is on each half wave, a charge builds up on the surface of the capacitor, much like static electricity would, uh, in the way that when you walk across a carpet, it can build up, thousands of volts can accumulate over the surface of the body. But that will even happen at super low voltages, like one volt. However, it's obviously you're not going to notice that happening when you touch something with static shock. You're, you're not going to get the same thing if it's a low voltage. But the same thing happens with capacitors. That if, for instance, you on one polarity, you'd get a, a positive charge would go on one side and negative the other. And then as a polarity, when the polarity reverses, it'll be the complete opposite, you know, positive on this side, negative on the other. But in that time, depending on the value capacitor, a small amount of current will flow in one direction and then the other direction. So if then you put that through a bridge rectifier, AC, AC plus minus, that's a terrible AC, but that's okay. Then, and say you were supposed to, you were put, put a capacitor across the output or the LEDs, then as each half uh, cycle of the mains occurs, a small, uh, that small current, the small pulse of current that, that uh, is allowed through in each half wave, the small amount of current, will basically top this capacitor up. And because it's got a much larger surface area, the voltage is actually a lot lower. And it'll go up, it'll keep topping up until, say for instance, you had just two LEDs across it. It'll top up until they start conducting, and then that'll sort of drain the charge off that capacitor, and the LEDs will just basically light at that point. However, what can happen is, uh, in the case of what happened there with that circuit, uh, one of the connections to this capacitor broke. And because this capacitor, if, if depending on where you actually power it up in the sine wave, if you power it up near the top of the sine wave, then the capacitor will immediately charge to the full voltage, which in the, the case of the UK could be at about 330 volts or more. And what actually happened there is you get a very high pulse of current. And because that didn't flow into this capacitor, uh, but went through the LEDs instead, it actually damaged the LEDs. And that's why I normally recommend putting a extra resistor in here of round about a value, 470 ohms to 1K, depending on the amount of current, because that, that will dissipate a small amount of power. And that means that in the case of that happening, when you power it up sort of mid sine wave, uh, with a 1K resistor, you're only going to get about uh, 250 milliamps max, which is less likely to damage the LEDs. And that's the principle of capacitive droppers and what can go horribly wrong, as has happened in the case of that lamp over there, which will be covered in a different video. Oh, you're doing it great.